Hello, this is Jack from tofluency.com and welcome to this lesson where I'm going to test your knowledge on verb tenses in English. Now there are five questions here or five sentences for you to complete. So all you have to do is use the correct verb form and complete the sentences. And I'll give you the verbs to use in a moment. And once you have done that, please leave your score below. Tell me how many you got right. Now, I think the average score is going to be three out of five, but let me know how you do. And also be sure to leave more examples. At the end of the lesson, I'm gonna talk about how you can internalize these sentences so that you can use them naturally. But first, this video is sponsored by italki. Now, italki is a platform where you can find an online teacher to help you improve your English. Now, if you follow me for any amount of time, you'll know that I talk about the importance of practicing your speaking. So to learn English on your own, but then to also practice your speaking. And what you can do on the italki platform is find the right teacher who is going to help you and who is going to suit your budget. So there are plenty of teachers on the italki platform and they're all ready to help you improve your English. And all you have to do is click the link in the description, sign up to the platform, look at the teachers online, see which one is going to help you the most, and then book a lesson with that teacher. Now the lessons happen online, so you can take the lessons at home on your phone or on your computer. So go click that link, check out the platform, and then sign up if you want to practice your speaking. Okay, so let's get started with the quiz. The first one is this. I something it every day. Use the verb to do, to do. I it every day. This one might be easy for most of you. And here is the answer. I do it every day. I do it every day. So this is using the present simple here, and we use the present simple for everyday actions, habits, and routines. For example, I usually wake up at 6.30, but sometimes my kids wake me up at 5.30. I make some coffee, I make breakfast, I get the, the kids ready, and then I take them to school. So you can see you use the present simple when talking about your day in general. Now, look over here, every day. There is a space between every and day. Don't make the mistake of when using the time expression, connecting those words together. Now I'm going to leave a sentence in the description that will help you remember this. And I'm gonna say it right now. I practice everyday English every day. So go check out the description to see when you use two words, and when you use one word for every day. All right, number two. This one might be a little bit tricky. I something them tomorrow. And use the verb to meet, to meet. I something them tomorrow. Three, two, one. It's this, I'm meeting. then tomorrow. That's a strange N. There we go. I'm meeting them tomorrow. The present continuous for a future action. This confuses a lot of people. And I imagine some of you would have put, I will meet them tomorrow. But if you have already arranged this, if you have planned this, then this is when we use the present continuous. I'm meeting them tomorrow. I'm meeting them tomorrow at three o'clock. So the present continuous is used for future actions when we have arrangements. I made a video on all the future tenses, which you can check out. I'll leave a link in the description because I talk about the difference between will, going to, and the present continuous for future actions. I'm meeting them tomorrow. 
What I want you to do is to leave some more examples of the present continuous for future actions in the description below. Okay, I'm meeting them tomorrow. Number three, he something all day. Use the verb to study, study, okay? He something all day. Use the verb to study. Are you ready? He's been studying all day. He's been studying all day. The present perfect continuous. An action that started in the past and continues right now. I've been making videos all morning. I've been making videos all morning. I'm still making videos right now, but this action started in the past. I've been living in America for eight and a half years. I've been living in America for eight and a half years. So this one can confuse some people. It can be quite confusing. But again, I have a full video on this. So check out the link to that video in the description. He's been studying all day. Number four. All right, I something it. Use the verb do. All right, I something it. This is important, all right. Three, two, one. All right, I'll do it. This is when we use the future simple. I will do it, all right, I'll do it. And we use the future simple when we decide to do something in that moment, okay? When we decide to do something in that moment. All right, I'll do it. So somebody might ask you, can you help me later? And you say, I'm sorry, I'm really busy. Please, I really need your help. All right, I'll do it. All right, I'll do it. So we use this when we decide to do something for a future action. Again, go watch the video on future tenses to get more examples of this. But you can see the difference here between I'm meeting them tomorrow and all right, I'll do it. It's when you decide to do the action. You already made the decision to do this in the past. This, you decide in the moment. All right, I'll do it. The next one, we eat something him yesterday. Use the verb to see. This might be an easier one for you. We something him yesterday. Use the verb to see. Three, two, one. We saw, we saw him yesterday. We saw him yesterday. This is an irregular verb, so be careful about that. But yesterday is a great one because you know it's most, most likely going to be the simple past. We saw him yesterday. Now, a lot of people get confused between the future past and also the present perfect. Okay, that can be quite a confusion for a lot of people. My chalk just broke. We saw him yesterday, but that one should have been an easier one for you. Okay, so let me know how you did. How many did you get right out of five? And be sure to leave more examples of this one too. Now, if you want to internalize these types of verb tenses so that you could just use them in a natural way, this is what I recommend you do. First, find lots of examples of them and understand how people use them. So it needs to be in some type of context so that you can understand when to use the verb tenses. Take those sentences and then put them into spaced repetition software. Use something like Anki, A-N-K-I, so that you can get the repetition that you need. And then repeat them over the long term so that you internalize the structures and then you can learn and understand how to use grammar in a natural way. Now, if you want to get all of those flashcards with audio, 
and also many of the resources that are going to help you improve your English, then join the to Fluency program. There is a link to the program in the description below and you can read more about how this is going to help you. Okay, if you've enjoyed this video, please like and share it. And also, please leave a comment. Tell me what score that you got. If you're new, subscribe. Welcome, my name is Jack from Tefluti. Okay, speak to you soon, bye-bye.